Thank you very much for inviting us. Uh, my name is Nikki Lewis and I'm the Service Director at the New uh, Wiltshire Council, the New Unit Tree. And I'm Julie Martin, Corporate Advisor at Wiltshire Council. Okay, so um, our pitch then. Um, we're proposing uh, to make what we're calling an electronic issues book, um, which is a piece of film um, which is going to be designed to um, be used with local communities around um, tackling antisocial behaviour, uh, particularly inter intergenerational, intergenerational issues. Um, we have done a similar sort of project. Last year, um, we worked with U Southampton University, Professor Jerry Stoker, um, and we made a, a similar sort of uh, piece of film looking at how we tackle um, barriers to engagement, and it worked very well. Uh, we feel the particular technique enables us to get voices into a room, um, people listening to different points of view, in a way that perhaps they won't normally do, particularly around um, controversial issues such as antisocial behaviour. Um, one of your questions that you had for us was, well, is it, about, is it just another technique for consultation or is it really about solving the problem of antisocial behaviour? You know, is it a bird or is it a plane? Well, actually, we hope it's both. Um, that actually is a technique for, for better engagement and good consultation, getting people thinking about a whole range of different issues and listening to each other. Um, but it is also something which we feel can be packaged up and used um, not just around um, issues of antisocial behaviour, but also um, a technique, a methodology, which can be adapted um, to, to work across a whole range of different community issues. We have um, experimented in using this issues book approach um, with new area boards which we've established across 20 community areas in Wiltshire. So we've got established forums and groups that we can use it with to have deliberation. And um, we've also got other groups too called the Wiltshire and Women Users Network, um, Wiltshire People First, which is a group of people with learning disabilities, um, many groups in fact, older people's groups, younger people's groups, community area young people's issues groups, which we did mention in our full bid. Um, so we've got ready-made forums to have this discussion and um, across generations too, focused on this anti-social behaviour issue. And our partners, health, police, fire, town and parish councils, the voluntary sector, are all very much committed and very much involved in those arrangements. So they would be very much involved in this approach. Just at the bottom of this slide, we've got something that's missed out a little bit. It's called transferability and legacy. And there we do see the potential for this to be transferred for use in other authorities across the country. And we were actually very interested in your comments on the potential to create a national database or library of such issues, approaches to addressing such issues. Uh, just a, a couple of visuals here. Um, this is a particular thing that happened in, in a Wiltshire park. Um, it was brought to the attention of a youth development worker, actually. It's just a group of uh, um, young people with approach and an older person in a, in a mobile scooter. Um, and to start with, she was a little bit intimidated. What do these young people want? And, um, you know, were they going to be rude to her or, or aggressive in, in any way? And actually, they were just very interested in her scooter. Um, they negotiated for her to get off and sit in the park bench. Well, they you know, had a go on it and they had a, they had a very nice time. Um, and it, sometimes it is just about, um, you know, getting people to talk to each other. And it's about addressing uh, the fear of crime and, and the fear of the way you think people are going to behave. Um, and it's about, you know, some of that, um, you know, tackling the, the uh, misconceptions, misperceptions that people have. Um, this was a, a project as well that was being done by a youth development service about um, young people. There's a lot of expectation there for, from young people themselves. Um, all schools now have school councils, right through, right through the years. Um, we've got school parliaments, we have a Wiltshire par parliament. Um, there is an expe expectation from young people that we will engage, we will listen and we will respond. Um, and they do want to be involved in local decision making and influencing what happens um, across our services. Now, a lot of what we're talking about is addressing perceptions. And you see there in the last slide, people, young people asking for fairness and to be listened to. And we are talking about something with antisocial behavior issues where it's a very polarized view, where you know, often headlines in newspapers are about, they sort of categorize young people as being a problem, when actually young people themselves are saying, for, in calm, for instance, that it's the drunken people coming out of the pubs um, in the night that are a problem, but the headline is young people are a problem with the photograph of an older person, when actually young people feel identified with that problem. 
Um, and we've had people saying, young people saying, we are not all problems. And that's also been a letter to the Gazette and Herald to sort of point out that there are different perceptions here, which we want to address through this issues book um, approach. And we have a, a citizen panel of young people, um, 3,000 young people on Tomorrow's Voice. And just recently in the autumn 2009, we did a survey on antisocial behaviour where 20% were thinking that there was actually quite a problem in Wiltshire and 10% thought that there was a problem in their local area. So these, it's you know, a small sort of size problem, but nevertheless quite relevant to the people that it concerns. And perceptions in Wiltshire are really important too, in that um, it's one of the safest counties in the country, but there is strong evidence of people not feeling safe. And they're fearful about going out at night. People with learned disabilities frightened about walking across the park in the early evening in case they're attacked. You know, there are all sorts of things that we've brought out through our um, discussions with people. So we're, we have a big drive for inclusion and fairness. We're looking at both pro-social and anti-social examples in what we're attempting to do to present both sides of the picture. And then finally, um, what we'd like from you, if you were to be successful, um, clearly the idea ha IDA has extensive networks, you have the communities of practice, um, we'd be very interested in working with you in order to refine this. Um, we would appreciate challenging of objectivity, which would come from you know, working with an external organisation. Um, there will obviously be cost attached to this. We do actually have quite a strong um, media unit um, in Wiltshire with a team that are really developing their filming skills. Um, we would like the opportunity to use the project to, to do further training and bring that, that team on, so there is a legacy. Um, we've also worked with outside filming units. Um, obviously, there will be scripting, producing, um, editing, and then packaging this up so that um, not only that we, Wiltshire can use it, but it can be used by um, other authorities. Um, and obviously, just that it brings credibility to this type of work um, if we're working alongside you. So that's what we would like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.